Transform and draw me. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to yet another drawing cartoon tutorial. Okay, this one was tough. I have been requested to draw Optimus Prime. Okay, I drew this Optimus Prime several times to make this tutorial, and I could not figure out a very simple way to draw him. He is a very complicated and very detailed character. So, um, I did find something. I did find a way. Well, it's the way that I actually draw comic books. I draw comic books for a living. And so I decided to draw him the way I would draw him professionally as a comic book creator. And so now I'm going to have you guys do it the same way. Because it actually was a little bit easier that way. <laughs> We're using circles and ovals. Yeah, sounds weird, right? Um, <laughs> I'm going to show you how it's going to be done. Um, first of all, turn your papers portrait ways. As you can see how I have it drawn up here. So turn it up and down, or portrait, it's the fancy word. And let's, uh, oh, I almost forgot. Get your three B's out. Your paper, your pen, and your pencil. Hope you have an eraser, because you're going to need it. And let's get started, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you lots of things today. <laughs> um, Okay, so we're going to start off with your pencils. And um, the way we're going to do this is we're going to, uh, when, when you draw these with your pencil, you're going to go light. Draw real light. Don't draw real hard. Don't press real hard down the paper. Because this is going to be like the first layer. <laughs> I, yes, I'm warning you now, this is going to be a complicated drawing. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, we need to, we're going to draw... A nice big oval. As you can see, I'm using uh, a not black yet because this is kind of my way of showing you we're going to start with uh, a light pencil. So we're going to draw a nice, beautiful oval. Okay. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the secret. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Even on this one, we're going to use the magic <laughs> teeth. Except for we're not going to use it to draw his face. <laughs> we're going to use it and we're going to use it to draw his body, but we're also going to curve it. So we're going to take the middle of this oval and we're going to draw a curve line. And then we're going to go on this side and we're going to draw another curve line like that. All right, I'm trying to do the hardest part first. This is actually going to be his body. Now I want to lay out all the pieces of this guy <laughs> before we get started. So we're going to go across to this side of this oval or this egg. And we're going to draw another oval. And it's going to be, eh, it kind of looks like an ear, like a Mickey Mouse ear or something, right? Okay. And we're going to go on the other side. And we're going to draw a curved line, just like that. Okay. All right. We're using this magic T line. Okay. And we're going to make two parallel lines. One, two. Two parallel lines starting from the middle of the magic T, going down, just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this weird thing in, sh in, in almost in half. And we're going to just draw a line like that. Uh, we're going to go to the top of this oval, okay? And instead of having it round like this, we're going to go up from the top of this magic T line, and we're going to just draw a line, a kind of a slanty line, going towards, actually going towards these pieces that we made, the ears. <laughs> so we're going to make this slanty, slanty, just like that. Okay. And then we're going to go straight down, following this oval shape still, we're going to go straight down to where this magic T line, the middle part is, goes down. So we're going to just draw like straight line here. Okay, and a straight line like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw a parallel line. See how this magic T line goes a little bit, there's like a piece, it doesn't go all the way through the oval here like that. Um, so we're going to draw a straight parallel line, just like that. And then we'll connect it like that. Okay. Okay, now we're going to erase the part that's inside of the oval, just like that. All right, so you can kind of see where we're going with this part. 
I'm gonna try and go fast because I know there's a lot of details and I don't wanna I don't wanna miss out on all the details. Alright, so and I'm sorry if I'm being extra quiet today. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this straight line that we went, we're gonna bring it down to the second uh, line that we made here, and we're just gonna slant it like that. Is that right? Yes. We're gonna slant it like that. And we're gonna go to the other side and do the same thing, slant it down like that. In fact, we can use, we can do that thick. Those are actually going to be part of his body. All right, so we're going to actually draw a straight line here. And we're gonna draw a straight line here. Um, and then we're gonna bring it down further. So we're gonna draw a line from that middle line and we're going to draw it all the way down, like that. We're going to draw this one down further, like that. And then we're going to connect it like that. Boom. Once you have that, then we're going to do a parallel line. And we're going to go right from this, these two lines that we made. And we're going to make more a, a slanty line going downwards after you get past the oval shape. And then we're going to go down even further there. All right. And then we're actually going to just connect this little space right here between the line that goes all the way up to that middle line and this black line that we just did, or I guess your hard line. And we're going to just make a little bit of a, we're going to actually use it to do black. And we will connect them like that. Crazy. This is a crazy drawing. <laughs> all right. We're going to make a parallel line over here. So as you can see, we made this slanty line right here. We're going to make that slanty line like that. And we'll connect it like that. All right. And <laughs> I think you can see where we're going. Now, now that we've got this crazy body that we made, um, we can actually do some things. <laughs> I know. What is going on here? Okay. So, um, and we're actually making a 3D here, uh, if you can believe it. You can believe it. All right, so let's finish connecting the rest of this body here by making parallel lines. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go from this line right here, and we're going to follow this little teeny line here like that. We're going to do that down to the, so we'll make a parallel line right here down to this oval. Okay. And we're going to connect like that. All right, let's clean up. So um, we don't actually need any more of that oval. Same with this side. We'll get rid of that part of the oval. So you can see, see this crazy like diamond -y crazy shape we just made? Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's, uh, that's Optimus Prime. Okay, so now we got that bit on there, we can go ahead and start making all the fun bits. And the first thing we're gonna do is go from this crazy line and we're going to make a rectangle. Actually, we're going to go ahead and start going with black now. All right, so, because you don't have to, the oval is the, the hardest part, I think. So we got one rectangle shape here, another rectangle shape here. We're going to go with an oval here, another oval here. That's more of a circle than an oval. All right. It's like old stuff now. All right, now we're going to make the letter L. So go from this oval on the side here, and we're just going to make the letter L like that. And we're going to do the same thing on this side, except for it's going to be a backwards L. So we're going to go on the other side and make a backwards L. And then we're going to connect from the end of the oval down to the letter L. Okay. All right, so let's look at these ovals. Inside this oval here, we're gonna make a little baby egg oval here, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Boom, another egg-shaped oval. Then we're gonna go from that, where that egg is, and we're gonna draw a curvy line that goes where? Goes all the way down. Curvy line going all the way down, okay. To finish off the legs, we're going to make another straight line and slanty down, straight line, slanty down. And then we're going to make, <laughs> this is a weird one, 
Okay, let's draw a little line coming off there, a little line coming off there. You can see I'm doing it on both sides because it's easier that way. And then we're going to draw a curved line that goes all the way like that. It connects the two, basically from the corner, connecting that little slanty line we just drew. All right, then we're going to draw a little straight line, a little straight line like that. <laughs> okay, we're going to fix this up a little bit here. Um, uh, we'll draw a straight line like that, a straight line like that, and you can see that it's about the same size as the other one here. And then um, let's let's uh, erase this slanty line that goes past it. So here's what we have so far, and then we'll just connect them with a curvy line, kind of that looks like the one on the top. All right. Um, okay, so we want to make a square here, another square here, and this is just, we're laying out where we're going to put his arms. And like I said, this is, as you can see, I'm back to the red, which means light pencil, right? And then we're going to do a curved line, like a big U shape, another curved line, and the curved line U shape is going up towards where these guys are. So let's make it a little bit up more. All right. Okay. And then we'll just connect this circle with the U shape with another square. Or in this case, a triangle. All right. So let's lay up some more pieces here. At the top, obviously, we need to draw his head. And we're just going to draw right now a big square head. And another magic tea. And that one is actually going to show us where all the pieces of the face are going to go. All right. And he's got a rectangle next to him right here. And it goes up to close to where that magic tea is. So the magic tea is helping us with, the, uh, with these uh, rectangles that we're making here. And then we're going to draw a smaller baby rectangle on top. All right. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to turn these rectangles into his pipes by making a slanty line that starts from the corner and goes down. Slanty line from the corner and goes down on both pipes. From the corner and go down. From the corner and go down. Okay, and then we have to erase. So you can see what we just did. I made a mess. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> my, oh wow, that's pretty messy. Okay, anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> All right. All right, so there he is, Optimus Prime. Thank you for drawing with us today. Just kidding. <laughs> he looks like he could be any, any robot, so we have to make him a lot more Optimus Prime. But um, before we do that, let's, let's see. Let's turn his arms. Obviously, his arms look the most un- perfect here. So what we're going to do is we have to turn these circles into square square shapes. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to take the corner and we're going to just draw a line from the corner and we're going to make it uh, more straight and we'll get rid of that circle. Um, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to draw a straight line going up. So a parallel line. You could follow the line you just made and then you'll just connect them. Um, Okay, so we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to start at his chest plate at the tippy top. We're just going to draw a straight line going up, up, up towards space and ignoring this thing right here. We're going to do a parallel line right down here so that you now have two lines that are following the same path but not touching. And then we're going to just basically uh, draw them connecting. So we have a square shape here now. Let's see. And then um, I believe we had something fancy here. I think, yes, we're going to draw a rectangle like that. So we have a rectangle underneath this shape we just made. And then we're going to draw this here. It's going to go right into it. And then we're going to erase this piece right here. So now we'll just clean it up a little bit. There we go. All right. Okay. So this shape actually is pretty close to what it needs to be, but we're just going to draw a, like an L shape right here. 
an upside down L, I guess. <laughs> All right. Um, so, just like on the other pieces, we're going to turn the circle into a square by going at the end of this circle here. And we're just going to draw a straight line instead of the curvy, bumpy part. It's now straight. And then we're going to just draw a straight line or kind of slanting curve line um, like that. Um, basically, we're just making this a little bit, it's still a little bit round, actually, as you can see. But we uh, have the straight ends. So it makes it look more um, uh, more robotic, I guess. And then that, from that L shape we just made, we're going to draw another slanty line going straight up. Now we actually don't have to draw his hands because he's got something on. Uh, he's got something covering him. Um, I'm not exactly sure what they are, but to make those pieces, we're just going to draw a big rectangle like that on both sides, and three straight lines. Like that. And then we're going to go back through this. Whoops. Go back through this and make that light line that you made into a dark line. All right. And you actually can see his thumb in this drawing I've got. <laughs> um, so we're going to draw his thumb and we're just going to make. You know, uh, we're making this shape. It's going up and down. And that's going to be his thumb. <laughs> There's so much, you know, and I try to simplify this drawing as best as I could, but this one's pretty hard to simplify. He's a complicated character. Okay, so over here we're going to do the same thing. Uh, we got to make this into, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to uh, go at the end of the big U shape and we're going to make a straight line, just like that. Okay, and then um, again, how we made this L shape, the upside down L, we're going to do the same thing. So a straight line going up and across. Okay, we're going to turn this into sort of an L shape as well. And just, uh, yeah. So we have a nice L shape over there, and then we're just going to connect the corner to the corner here like that. And same thing with this. You could corner to the corner, or end to the end and end to the end hmm. on that and then I'm going to get rid of all this middle stuff so I can see what I'm doing here all right um, and then um, yeah this can just stay the way it is it can just stay a rectangle okay so let's uh, look at these holes real quick we're going to clean this piece out here um, we're going to draw a curved line Going down that way, going down that way, on both sides. Um, good thing about like a robot or something or a transformer is they're going to be pretty symmetrical. I uh, know it's not very symmetrical, but okay. <laughs> Let's go on the end of this oval, and we're just going to draw another curve line there. I'm going to draw a curve line there. And that's his gears. Okay. Um, Let's well, have some fun. Let's let's do his chest piece because that one is actually pretty cool looking. So let's do that first. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do parallel lines, and that means we're going to follow the top here. Wow. We're going to follow this piece all the way across, all the way across, all the way across. <laughs> wow, all the way across. So we're going to just, so the, we're just going to basically make a, a frame around everything. Okay, so then once you have that frame, we're going to use that magic T line that we first made, and we're going to draw a small little line like that, and then we're going to draw one slanty line going up that way, and then another slanty line going up that way, and then we'll erase this part in the middle. Um, right in here would be the Autobot symbol. Um, there's no way I'm going to be able to draw that in there with these big fat pins. Um, but maybe we'll do, I don't know, we'll, <laughs> we'll have to figure something out for the Autobot symbol. Um, if you really want to put it in there. Um, okay, so <laughs> what we'll do now is we're going to go from the top of this weird shape that we just made. We're just going to make a slanty line going down, 
on on from that magic T line. And from that magic T line, we're gonna make another selected line going down that way, just like that. We're gonna erase that part in the middle. Okay. Then we're actually going to draw. We'll make sure that's nice. And we're going to are we? Yes. We're going to erase this bit in there. Like that. Okay. Okay. Um, this thing becomes a, hex, uh, a hexagon, I think it's called. Um, we're basically, we're just going to take the corners and we're going to make slanted lines going downwards, like that. And more slanted lines going downward this way. And then this becomes one shape. Okay, and then we're going to make a frame, another frame. Oh, of course, we're going to make more frames. So we're going to make a frame around or un, uh, inside that. Uh, let's mm. get rid of the magic T line. And then inside here, oh, I shouldn't have got rid of the magic T line. Uh, did you guys get rid of it? If you didn't, well, this will be easier for you. But we're just going to make a, um, a line going straight in like that. All right, let's get rid of this line here. And this line here. <laughs> Let's clean it up a little bit. Okay. Down here we've got his, um, this is like his, I don't know what it would be, uh, lower body. <laughs> All right, so we got his lower body here. We're going to draw uh, about, we're going to draw coming off of this, a slanty line going upwards on both sides. So this part connects to there, and I guess inside here, oops, we need that. We have one, two circles. See how many details are in this guy. All right, I'm trying to clean this up and fix it up a little bit here. Okay. Uh, let's see what parts are looking kind of weird. Um, so, okay, there might be a little piece in here. Get rid of that. Get rid of a lot of the red stuff now, or your light pencil is able to get rid of. Um, so, let's clean it up a little bit there. Okay. Optimus Prime is a large semi truck transformer, right? So, let's get in his, uh, let's go down to his legs real quick. Let's do his big wheels, which are just one curved line here, another curved line here, so two. Curved lines, another curved line, curved line on each of those sides. Well, he's also got some wheels over here. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to make one big circle here, another big circle here. Okay. All right, inside mm -hmm. these circles, you can clean all these out here. All right. Okay, so inside of each circle, we're just going to draw a curved line like that. It's going to give it the illusion that's popping out a little bit. We're going to go to the same other side and do the opposite. And then we're going to draw an oval in each of those. All right. Oh my goodness, I completely forgot. Okay, on the top, he's got one curved line, a little rainbow. Another curved line here, a rainbow. Curve, curve, so we got four little baby rainbows. And, of course, there's more details into this. So, you're going to do parallel rainbow lines inside there. Okay. Optimus, you're killing me. <laughs> Great. So, um, I'm going to do some details real quick. Uh, I guess we've been doing details. Uh, another egg in here. Egg in here. All right. From the top of this arm, shoulder, we're going to draw a curve line going down towards his body. Okay. All right, let's get his face. So we're going to look close at his face here. And the first thing we're going to do is draw his hat. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to take that magic T line we did up there, and we're just going to draw a parallel line above it. And then um, in here, we're going to go and put in two smiley faces for his eyes. All right, and then um, right here, this magic T line is going to help us. We're going to draw... Uh, a triangle. 
and then we're going to take that triangle and we're going to draw it down so it looks like a little house. Maybe. Okay, so what I did is, because it's getting really messy up here, I'm going to go ahead and do the face right here, bigger, right next to the body, <laughs> so we can see what's going on. Um, all right, so, uh, <clears throat> so where were we? Yes, we made our little triangle, we made our house. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to get rid of that bottom of the triangle, and we're going to make, we're going to actually make a line going from the edge of the bottom of that triangle going back up. Same with this side, we're going to go back up, and we made the letter W. Yes, the letter W. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to get his nose on here real quick, and we're going to use that magic T line, and um, from one side of the magic T line we're going to go down, slanty just like that, down like that, slanty. Um, oh, and what do you know, we actually have a line going straight down there too. Okay. Um, he's got also got a line that goes into his mouthpiece as well. Okay, so now we got that. What we're going to do is the side of each of his mouth. Oh, my goodness, I'm glad we did this. Um, we're going to do a, it looks like a, almost like you're making the letter D or something here. So um, it's like a curved line, goes like that. We're going to do it on each side, just like that. And then over here, we're going to make a slight curved line as well. And it doesn't go any further, it doesn't go past, it goes from the top here, but it doesn't go past the letter D. Um, so don't make it go way down there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to connect the bottom of the D with that. Slanted. And we're going to erase this part right here. Alright, cool, cool. Um, now what's he got? And he's got, on this side, kind of a rectangle. So if we're going to use, we're going to do that on each side, a rectangle. Okay. And then um, he's got kind of a little bit of a, uh, two slanting lines going inwards. One going down, one going up. And we're just connect those. Boom, boom. Okay. So then he's got... A little curve line going up here, a little curve line going up there, like that. Actually, let's make the top of his his head real quick. And what we're going to do, instead of having that square, we're going to make it a giant curve all the way around, like that. Ooh. And my curve is horrible. Okay, so we have like a round type head up there. Um, and then, now we're going to draw two straight lines going up like that, okay, and then we're just going to draw a little line going across, so now he's got two funny looking antennas, love them, <laughs> and then we're just going to basically drop them straight down, so they're going to go down kind of a slant, very slight slant, there you go, and then, um, and then either, if they don't connect right on your little circle that you made down there, you can just make a little straight line to connect them like that. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're going to make a line using the magic T line. We're going to use that as our center. And we're going to make two slanted lines going down like that, and it goes off his head again, so more hairs, we're <laughs> making him grow some more hairs. Uh, we're going to do a parallel line, so we've got two of them, and we're just going to connect those two lines together. We're going to draw that straight across like that, and we're going to draw, connect these together, we're going to have that part neat, then we can get rid of that mm -hmm. magic T-line. And we're going to just draw some straight lines across. Four straight lines. Um, we're going to do one more extra line here. One more extra line here. <laughs> Even his head's complicated. All right, so there's his face. So there it is. Real big for you. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply this to this little drawing here. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, aren't you glad 
that, uh, <laughs> looking at that? <laughs> Aren't you glad I did it big now? <laughs> wow, that was a lot. Okay, um, he's pretty much done, and I know this has probably been the longest video ever that we made. Um, so right here, uh, we're going to just do the same thing that we did on the other hand here. Uh, we're just going to add a little thumb, which can be a uh, curved line around the top of that box. So all we have to do really is finish off the feet here, and we're going to add just a couple more details. We don't actually have to, but I just feel like we should. Um, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to draw a straight line across right where the bottom of the first wheel goes. Straight line across, same idea. And we're going to draw a small slanty line um, on both sides going towards the bottom, and then we're going to do a parallel line that follows the side of the leg. Now we're going to get rid of this part of the leg. Weirdly enough, we're going to keep the the, the wheels are fine, just right where they're at. Um, you may need to adjust the foot here, as I am, because the foot should go right where. So you're going to go from this line right here. We're going to move it over here to this side, so that his foot matches more. Okay, this one actually worked out okay. Okay. Um, then we're going to draw in uh, one straight line on each side of his foot. Oh, instead of having straight line going across like that, we're going to make this curve. A little curve line, um, like a little rainbow. Okay. We're not going to get too detailed, but we will do, uh, let's do a rectangle in here. A rectangle in here. Couple of lines, couple of lines. Okay. Um, we will draw a square or rectangle coming off of this little gear right here, and we'll draw a little rectangle inside with a line. A little rectangle with a line. Um, you could draw a line on the side here, on each side, so it looks a little three dimensional. You don't have to. Okay. So, <laughs> ink things in. <laughs> I know this has been the longest video. You probably have like had breakfast and lunch and dinner doing this doing this video. But thank you for hanging in there. Please, if you enjoyed watching me struggle trying to get all these details to you and trying to present this in a good way, <laughs> give this video a like. <laughs> if you thought I just totally blew it, give us a like. <laughs> That way I'm getting likes no matter what. Comment below. Tell me what to draw next. I don't know what to draw next after this one. This one I didn't even expect. I love Transformers. I love Optimus Prime. And I grew up with them. And I don't know if I did them justice here. But I hope I did. Woo! Let's give him some cool... Let's, let's make his... You know what? Draw a couple of slanty lines in here. It doesn't even... Two, three. That way it kind of looks like he's got glass there. That's supposed to be his, his glass. Okay. So, <laughs> we have a Facebook page. Send in your inked and colored Optimus Primes to our Facebook page. We've been seeing a lot of cool artwork. So, if you haven't checked out the Facebook page yet, check it out. Look at the artwork that other people are doing from these videos. And send in your artwork, because I want to see it. I want to see what you draw. And um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, because then you will uh, not only get to see all the videos that that come out, of course you'll see them anyway, uh, but um, hit the bell because that will alert you in your email when the next video comes out. It's time to pick out the very next drawing and it's yours because you commented below and told me what to draw. So let's see what we're going to draw. It's going to be, it's going to be. Anything is possible in Neverland, you know. Anything is possible with happy thoughts once more. All right. I can Mr. Pan, fly. I think you need to. He's trying to cut in line. He wants. <laughs> he wants to be drawn next. Now watch. We actually pick out Peter Pan. That'd be funny. All right. The only way we're gonna draw somebody is if we pull you out. And it's. Let's see. It is. A wolf. A wolf. All right. So. Alright, that's going to be less mechanical, <laughs> a lot more circles. <laughs> Alright, so next time we're drawing a wolf. Um, I'm sure the Wildcrats could help me out with that one. So, uh, we will see you next time. Keep on drawing.
The more you do, the better you get. See you later.